and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Gruul mid-range with Rampaging Ferocidon. That's right, this is our first day that we get to play Ferocidon. We've still not had a single opponent play Ferocidon against us yet, um, but we played it in the Rakdos aggro deck earlier, and that deck looked really strong. And so I want to try it here with Gruul as well, because I want to pair it with Vivian Arcbow Ranger, uh, one of my favorite Planeswalkers, and I, a Planeswalker that I think is really underrated. It's a very aggressive Planeswalker, getting two counters on your creatures, giving them trample. You can end games pretty quickly. And Ferocidon is, you know, really good whenever you're ahead. Uh, you know, like each creature your opponent plays deals one damage to them. There's no life gain. So yeah, like this deck's all about getting ahead. Um, you know, growing the growing the Ferocidon with it having menace also. So if they need to chump block it, they have to chump block with two creatures. If we grow it with Vivian, um, seems like a pretty good uh, two sum, good combination. So we're gonna be. Uh, trying those out here with, you know, like our Spellbreaker, our Rekindling Phoenix. We don't have anything to like really to ramp into, but Nyssa can just make a bunch, you know, just a whole lot of 3-3s three and m put more creatures on the battlefield that don't make you lose three life, like, or don't make you lose a life, like, uh, whenever you play a regular creature. So yeah, I have high hopes for this deck. Let's give it a try. We'll play a few matches over in Ranked with it, see how it goes. Um, I don't, I don't think Hawkeye's too jealous whenever puppy, Puppy's with me on stream. Usually whenever Puppy's with me on stream, Hawkeye's just like laying down somewhere like on the bed or on the couch or something. So he doesn't really mind. He just, he's just laying down wherever he's at. But yeah, he decided to come join us again here for this deck. Hawkeye didn't help us, or sorry, Puppy didn't help us out too much. We didn't have the best luck with Puppy. You want some chapstick? Facing T Swizzle. So hopefully Hawkeye's more luck. Oh man. Still a keep, but man, if this was stomping ground. Still even forest. Uh oh no. We're getting out stomped. We got out stomped. Hey, baloney pony. Yeah, everything's going good. And also, ha and also have a good night, Storm. All right, well, this is not looking good for us. I don't think we're winning this one. The best news is my opponent didn't play any lands either. But. That'll grow up Pelt Collector to be a 3-3. Probably Vine Mare. Yep. Close your eyes and listen. Uh, Vivian is too good. All right, so base, you know, same kind of deck here.
Well, Growth Chamber Guardian looked like nonsense that game. If we get to a later game, like if we, it's just a whole lot of trading, Growth Chamber Guardian can help us take over. I maybe don't want Ferocid on here. It's a little small. Vivian's so good, but maybe I take one out because we're bringing in Ripjaws. No, we can we can trim a Paradise Druid, I think. So yeah, obviously we were really slow there, you know, not you know just having the two lands, like not even having land war off right away. Opponent was the opposite. They were very fast. And so that game wasn't too close. Let's see. Let's cut. All right, we're, we're taking out one of the removal spells. I'm keeping the two lands. I'm keeping Land War Elf Ripjaw. Um, I think we get rid of a coil. We could really, really use a forest here. Just any land. Any land. Land. Ugh. Hey, thank you so much, Trojan Rage. Thanks for continuing that gift sub. And of course, welcome to the channel. Land. Ugh. I think it's worth trading the four damage for them to two damage to us. I mean, it could be four damage to us if they attack with Paradise Druid. Land. You've got to be kidding me. Two, two games in a row like this? Their land. This is crazy. Yeah, this is a big time tilt. Do we even have very many spells? Like, do we have spells like left in our deck? Is this all of them? I've survived an GG. apocalypse. I will survive you. Matchup's definitely about like who can who can get Vivian advantage. I'd get out of the way if I were you.
Yeah, maybe we should put a third land in the deck. I guess the two lands aren't enough. Maybe we need to play three in the deck. I think I'd be pretty fine, like, you know, if we hit land drops, I think I'd be pretty fine in that matchup, like, over the long haul. Like, me having, like, Rekindling Phoenix is huge and everything, but I only played two lands. <laughs> three land, three is iffy, I don't know. Yeah, because, like, we're doing, like, the same kind of things, but, um... You know, we have Rekindling Phoenix, Lava Coil. I think that's a good matchup, and we lost it because we didn't have any lands, and that's... It's definitely feels bad. Never feels as bad whenever you lose... Um, if it's, like, a bad matchup and you lose it, you're like, oh, whatever, it's a bad matchup. I think that was a good matchup. So we're assuming this is Esper. I could have had Domri just fight Hero. But, the, you know, like that kills my Paradise Druid. Is that, you know, I'm... I'm hoping to be able to wait a turn and have Rekindling Phoenix fight Hero. All right, Phoenix, do your thing. Win this game. Well, that's gonna be harder to win the game whenever they're exiled. Yes, Druid adds mana of any color. Still wanted stomping ground in play for like maybe for like uh I don't know, just wanted to stomping ground in play. I was willing to pay the two life. I wanted the red source. An open mind. So now we draw only lands and mana creatures, huh? We haven't drawn a Spell that doesn't produce mana yet. Or any card that doesn't produce mana. This isn't a fight. As we drew Domri. <clears throat> Domri, land, and land war elves. Yay, real spell. All right. So, Vela Summers, Ceratops, Vivians. My curve's a little high. I think I want to keep the ambushes. I want to trim a couple Paradise Druids. We saw there, if we just draw 
to only mana creatures and stuff, and we'll get rid of the Domries. One for Rossidon. Basically thinking that they do have some pretty efficient removal with Ferocidon. You know, like Othakaya. And all. And we'll get rid of one ambush. I do like ambush though. I have things to kill. I kinda wanna cut one of these cards. Maybe I don't actually play Ceratops. All right, one ambush out. All right, this could work. Could also not work, we'll see. So many phoenixes. Well, I wish I would have played Rekindling Phoenix last turn. Wish I would have played that before the Kaios Wrath. Instead of after. I won't hide from the world any longer. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Yeah, it would be nice to draw a land to be able to protect the Phoenix, too. That's how it was meant to happen. Guess that's worth it. Kill to fairy, draw a card. Bleh. This whole game would have been a lot easier if I had this fifth mana. Come on, spark. Jeez. Jeez, jeez. I protect that which cannot protect itself. <laughs> wow, Belhan's just perfect against Nyssa.
Hey, Koa. The land fights for us. Uh, this really worked. This whole match really worked for our opponent. The cards lined up really well for them. Really, really lined up well for them. Um... All right, this one's not not doing nearly as well for us as Rakdos did earlier. They right. had the right spells at the right time. We don't have the green source. For this. I think we just take a new hand. Deck's not looking so good. No, I'm not planning on playing the Brawl event. stream um well you know it could be like a a fun one time event i don't i don't know if it's like the the most entertaining to play for like the youtube channel and stuff Will they get like that many views? If it was, you know, like if it was, you got to build decks for it. I would, I'd be a lot more interested. But just playing pre cons against each other, it's just this, you know, the exact same experience that anybody else would would have playing it. When it's just pre cons, back and forth. I, I think Vivian is miles better than four mana Domri. As far as four mana planeswalkers go, I don't I don't think it's very close. So we're not winning a long game, of course. We need to be aggressive. So I'm not going to be minusing Vivian to kill Risen Reef. I'm going to be ticking up and attacking for a lot. It is unfortunate these are all mountains. We got to tap our Paradise Druid. Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to it. My my, how you. We're not trying to. Not trying to win a long game here. We'll put them down to 10. If they want to block, of course, Ferocidon has Menace. So they'd have to double block. And then with the Trample. You know, they could have, like, Omnath to kill Vivian. That, that would be unfortunate. We don't want to see Omnath. That's the main card I don't want to see. So obviously that's the card they have. Well, you're annoying. No, I haven't seen any information about the rare dual lands from Throne of Eldraine yet. A 
I'm gonna love holding this grudge. Man, our deck has not looked very impressive. We either don't we either have two lands or we just have seven lands. We haven't had anything in between. Shows you how good Ferocidon is that they are willing to double block, you know, like that's kinda like what they have to do, but Unfortunately, I have nothing else, and, and that is a good trade for me, because obviously if Omnath and Risen Reef stay out there, I certainly lose, but the, the game's already over now. That I had nothing to follow up with. <clears throat> but you don't see... A three drop, you know, you don't see somebody blocking, double blocking with Omnath and Risen Reef on a three drop too often. Say hi to my friends. I like how this deck looks and everything. It just doesn't... We're just not... Like, it's not playing out very well. It's like two lands or, or seven lands. Is like Nissa not good in this deck? I don't know. I'm gonna try playing Vivian instead of Nissa and get a, a Living Twister in here. They can be some like removal and Living Twister does work really well with Vivian, how Vivian like five mana Vivian. A five mana Vivian. Well, this is the first time we've had, like, turn one... Yeah, this is the first game we've had turn one Land War Elf, right? I think it is. It's definitely the first time we've had turn one Land War Elf and then a spell. That wasn't a mana creature. But that's still fine. All right, we're actually doing stuff. Yeah, doesn't always work out how you want. I am Scholar's Vengeance. And I'm coming for you next. I'd get out of the way if I were you. First time we're actually getting to do stuff.
Stomping time. I'm just going to hold this land in hand to get rid of the twister. It's not like, you know, like, the Paradise Druid has Trample. So it's not like they want to block with Risen Reef. It's kind of whatever. It's not like that's bad for me. But next turn, we can ambush and also discard. Like, we can discard to kill the Risen Reef. We can ambush to kill this Omnath. And they're just dead. Ah, I've endured worse. Yeah, this game, our deck looked really impressive. Yeah, you know, the opponent had Shock, then Leafkin Druid, and then Lightning Strike, and then Risen Reef Omnath, and they're dead. I could also just not show my opponent Domri's Ambush. No. What do you... Do this one. Kill that. Get him. Could have done a, a lot more damage. You know, could have had Spellbreaker, Haste, plus Ambush, plus put two counters. So we could have done a lot more damage. Vivian Arqua Ranger is really good. Turning the 2 1 Paradise Druid into a 6 5 after two turns. Thanks, Elevator. <laughs> this is what our hands have looked like. There have been like five lands, two mana creatures, or two lands, and like no mana, and like one mana creature that dies, and then like a bunch of expensive spells. Well, I don't have extra lands for Living Twister. Get rid of the Living Twister and the Ferocidon. Is Ferocidon better than Spellbreaker here? Maybe I just keep both of those and get rid of Phoenix. Maybe I just do that. Let's we'll get rid of the, the double red spells. is a pretty bad draw. Could ambush, kill the Leafkin Druid, then play my own Land War Elf. So we have more mana. Or just lead with like a Ferocid on here.
Hopefully that helps out. Yep, another another two lander. I mean, if, if I would have kept that first hand that was five lands and land war off Paradise Druid, and if I knew I was drawing this, these cards that we've had this game, that would have been good. Bunch of new burn spells to try on you. Oh, I could have attacked with Ferocidon. The Menace. I forgot about the Menace. Go get him, buddy. I should have attacked. I just forgot about the Menace there for a, a second. Should have attacked. This incentivizes them to have their 5-6 attack my Domri. Which could help me with the crackback. I don't know. They just drew a lot of spells, though, with, with that Risen Reef Chandra. They were not lands that they were putting into play. There was a lot of spells they put in their hand. Should have attacked my opponent for three more than I did. Ugh. Well, that would have been a good reason to ambush last turn instead of Domri, I suppose. I'll be back after I've licked my words. You'll see. This is unreal. Just can't draw lands. GG. Hey, Phoenix. I played Ferocidon vs. Field in the Rakdos aggro deck, but I also had a Blood Sun in play. So they didn't they didn't get to have zombies. So I had Blood Sun also. That is true. Yeah, Caesar, that's a that's a really good point. The fight that we've put up with just two lands. We have put up a really good fight for, for just two lands. We've gotten through a lot. Like, I like the cards in the deck and, and everything. It's just... We can't get that happy medium of somewhere between two and seven lands. It's either two lands or seven lands.
I look forward to seeing you running away. My wild beasts will bring your comeuppance. If I, I attack there, obviously they block. They go get another Cavalier of Thorns to put into play. I don't have a Spellbreaker anymore. Domri is killed. They saw all the Risen Reefs. Unless they have more than four. Who knows, maybe they do. We have we have 24 lands because our curve's not that high we just have a couple five drops and you know we have we have four land of war four paradise druid the domries that add mana also our curve basically stops at four we just have a couple five drops so i have 24 lands but yeah, like it's either it's either to be fair <laughs> to be fair, I've I don't this isn't even fair. So that's I don't even know why I have that um beginning of the statement, but I seem to have the worst luck with twenty four lands. It's like my least favorite number of lands to play. Yeah, we, we had turn one land war off one time. We definitely won that game, even though our land war off was shocked. But we still won that game because we curved out. But besides, that was the only time. We've we've been drawing the land war elves later on, though. We've been doing pretty good of, like, the turn three, turn four, start drawing land war elves. We've been doing good with that. So if I play Growth Chamber Guardian here, it, it certainly dies to the control deck. So I'm going to wait a turn, be able to play Domri, and then if Domri survives, then, Sorry, we, then we can Growth Chamber plus activate. You think I'm crazy? What's that? Something smells rotten. Or wait, Nissa, you know, either one. But we need to get we need to get some counters on this growth chamber guardian, get some adapting going. That's more like it. Oh, looks like you're all mouth and no hands. Sideboards, I got shifting ceratops. With the arc bow at my side, I can't lose a fight. Trust me, I have a plan.
You haven't seen the Stop. last of me. What a strange and magnificent world. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Got everything. They got everything. This might be a bad idea. Let's slow this down. You need to slow down. Yay. Through this land, we are all connected. The land shall conquer you. I really should have seen that coming. It's only a matter of time. All right, those are out here. Mind and body, should I have just a <clears throat> trick for this? So that, yeah, that was a good turn. Hmm. All right, still got to deal with an Ascanta. I think we shuffle away that Nissa. Needs a rest. Of course, want to keep a growth chamber guardian in hand because if there's a wrath, we want to be able to do that again next turn. But we're basically forcing them to have Kaya's wrath, which they already have one Kaya's wrath in the graveyard. So they kind of have to have another one here. Not bad. Rise, my elemental friend. No life gain over there. All right, do they have a third Kaya's Wrath? Got a third Kaya's Wrath. All right, Nissa, Growth Chamber Guardian. Those two got us there. After a game where it looked pretty bad for us, or how our opponent kind of had everything. Let's trim two Arcbow Rangers. I do like Arcbow Ranger quite a bit.
All right, how's this look? This looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. Can, before, like against the hero deck, I wanted more ambushes. We can get rid of some ambushes. Yeah, beat the main deck Elder Spell. Did seem like they were a little hasty on that Elder Spell, considering they knew we had another Planeswalker in hand, and Domri was going to be able to get us to five mana, which could have cast Nissa. Like, I was probably casting that Nissa. So they could have just ticked up their Teferi and instant speed Elder Spelled me. A little hasty on that. Cryptic Command so good. I have Living Twister for aggro. Like the red deck at five toughness is is a lot of toughness. And then you know you can throw like extra lands at the small creatures. But yeah, it's it's like for red and an aggro decks. Um, just fine against like Risen Reef, being able to turn your lands into Risen Reef removal. I have practiced against many meditate and prepare. No more lands, deck. Still have much to learn. So would I rather have Nissa get Noxious Grasped or Vivian? I think Nissa. I think I lead with Nissa. I think Vivian's more valuable than Nissa, honestly. I will aid you. I'm not playing Paradise Druid. I'm not playing another creature into a wrath here. Forgive me. Yeah, I don't gain that one life. You don't get that one life for being a jerk and killing Nyssa. Definitely want Vivian protected. Sorry, I'm late. If the wilds are my shield. There we go. All right, deck looked a lot better there. We actually had lands and had spells. Here we go. Let's go one more match tonight. So you get back to the 2-3, hopefully. <laughs> there you go. You have a 1-3 emote. Very nice. Yeah, our final boss emote. <sighs> Deck, why you do this? Okay, this is good. We can take this. 
We could use a dual land. Yeah, Rakdos aggro felt really strong. Yeah, it was... It felt better than this one has felt so far. But yep. Of course, the replay's over there on YouTube for you to check out after I get done with the stream tonight. But yeah, that, that deck was pretty dominant. Come on, deck draw green source. Let's get this Vivian in play. I did take out like my Rex Ages from my sideboard, so I, I don't have... I don't have anything really that great in this matchup besides attacking them for a bunch. Like, I don't have anything, like, to minus five even to really go grab them. So, I am vulnerable to the fogs. The fog effect. Ah, one threes for the drafts. I like... Drawn from Dreams more than Chemister's Insight, I think. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. Do both. I'll just put them both on the Growth Chamber Guardian. We're fit enough to survive. All right, we drew the the green source. So they had to have, like, fogs for the rest of the game, but, um... We will not fail. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Whoa. Hinterland Harbor doesn't cast a fog. This place is uh, I like guess they, they probably don't. I guess they don't realize they're dead. My, my, how you've grown. They did. Oh, I have Vivian. Vivian's destroy enchantments. Okay, yeah, we're good. Vivian does. I don't think we really need Nissa. Right, we just make like some three threes like later on, but it doesn't really seem like we need Nissa here. We can replace Nissa with Vivian, um, and I think I think we play the Blood Suns. We've been pretty happy with Blood Sun in this matchup. I I feel like. What if I play Blood Sun and Veil of Summer, and I don't. And I cut Domri, and I cut some ambushes. Let's do it. Maybe I'm supposed to play the... I guess I'm supposed to play Ceratop over Phoenix. Ceratop just has haste and stuff. I kind of forgot about Ceratop. Yeah, I like Gruel decks. Gruel decks are fun. Real decks are fun. All right, well, we got a, a hand that we can unload with creatures, but we're not beating their best hands with this. You know, like, we don't have interaction for them, so they're, they're still a faster deck. But we do get to unload our hand immediately. We're hoping to draw Vivian Reed. Um, he 
Yeah, like Vivian Reed, Blood Sun. Wow, ditching Tamio. Their hand must already have a lot of that kind of stuff. still are presenting lethal here or no we're not no it's only seven darn it i am tamio it is an honor to meet you I'm glad I brought in Veil of Summers, though. Because, like, their deck usually, like, survives by, like, I like a key bounce spell. My like, with a key bounce spell. Like, getting rid of, like, countering the bounce spell can certainly be the difference between winning and losing. Good job, Spellbreaker. Way to smash. Way to smash. So there we go. Um, I think I think the Rakdos deck felt better overall, but honestly, this one was pretty good too. We just really had some mana troubles there those first three three matches, which, you know, that that happens. That's magic. Um, and then, you know, we came back, we saw, like, those last two matches, our deck looked a whole lot better. But this is a pretty mean deck, pretty hard-hitting deck here uh, with Ferocidon, Spellbreaker, and then, you know, backing them up with Vivian. We saw we ended a lot of games real fast with these things. Um, against the, really, like, the Elemental deck is really where we saw, like, Ferocidon look its best. Um, you yeah, know, like, they were very scared of it always having to like kill it with omnath or like double block it with like omnath and uh like whenever it was a five five with arc bow had to double block it with an omnath and a risen reef and trade away those two to get for on off the table the nissa didn't look great for us but it, i mean it it did win us like at least one game against esper maybe two at least one game. Yeah, just the one game against Esper. So, like, it looked really good against Esper Control, uh, that one game. But besides that, it looked kind of kind of slow and expensive. Um, but really, I don't know. I think we'd have to, like, kind of play some more uh, with, the, with the deck to kind of find out more about it. Because really those first three matches, like, it just... It was just draw two lands or draw seven lands. You know, that, that's how it was really like the ambushes like the ambushes are just a good removal spell that pumps up the power and lets us hit harder but yeah i could i could see cutting cutting down nissas for other things i'm not sold on growth chamber guardian also it was okay like it was good against like growth chamber guardian was definitely good against uh the i kind of want to put this card in my sideboard but Growth Chamber Guardian is definitely good against the uh, Esper Control deck, but it's kind of slow otherwise. I kind of wanted to play Goblins. Like, do y'all think that Zyrtar Goblins would be better? Just get, like, more haste in here? And even, like, the Goblins can, can be pumped up by Vivian and, and still be pretty good. 
Like, what if instead of Grilled Chamber Guardian and Nyssa, we played Goblins and Charging Monstrosaurs? I don't know. Maybe that could be, like, the thing to be doing. Um, besides Monstrosaur, of course, if we don't like Monstrosaur, we can go Hellkite also. Like, instead of Nyssa, maybe we go Hellkite. Give us a, a haste flyer in the air. Maybe maybe that's the thing we should be doing, is just Hellkite instead of Nyssa. Hellkite works pretty good with Vivian, because you know like how you know, the riot part, you want it to have haste, but then you want it to have that counter, so that you get to do two damage later? Well, Vivian can give Hellkite that counter, um, even, if you go ha even if you haste it. Um... So those are some other good options there. <clears throat> Chandra Fire Artisan instead of Nyssa. That could be a thing. Chandra doesn't attack, though, and can, can kind of be ignored for a little while, like while you like look for a removal spell. I want this stuff attacking. No, I don't want Sarkin. I would, I'd rather have Hellkite than Sarkin. Yeah, I'd rather have Hellkite than Sarkin. But those are some things to think about. There's there's some card choices to kind of make in here. Um, but good aggressive Gruel. So if you're a fan of Gruel, hope you like this deck. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Leave a comment about like some of those cards that I was talking about there. Like what what do you like? Do you like the Zertar Goblin or Growth Chamber Guardian? Um, what do you think about the five mana slot? But there we go. So uh, thank you so much for watching Gruel Midrange, though, and I'll see you for the next video.